Hi and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on Neupogen. So what is Neupogen used for? It's used for reducing the duration of neutropenia and risk of infection in people treated with chemotherapy for cancer with the exception of chronic myeloid leukemia and myodysplastic syndromes. It's also used for reducing duration of neutropenia in people who have had a bone marrow transplant. And it's also for reducing the risk of infection in people with advanced HIV infection and persistent neutropenia. Also for long-term therapy to increase neutrophil counts and reduce the number and duration of infections in people with low neutrophil counts from birth low neutrophil counts that recur at regular intervals, which is cyclic neutropenia, or low neutrophil counts with no known cause. Also for to increase the production of immature blood cells, stem cells or progenitor cells that are then collected by drawing blood so the patient can receive transfusions of their own stem cells. For example, following high dose chemotherapy treatment, the stem cells go back into the bone marrow and produce bone cells. So how does it work? Neupogen injection contains the active ingredient filgrastum, which is a type of a medicine called a recombinant human granulocyte colony stimulating factor. It's a bit of a mouthful. Or for short, GCSF. So GCSF is a substance produced naturally by the body that stimulates the bone marrow to produce white blood cells known as neutrophils. Filgrastum is a man-made version of GCSF. Neutrophils, like all blood cells, are produced naturally by the bone marrow. They play a central role in the body's immune system because they help defend the body from infections. A low level of neutrophils in the blood, or neutropenia, and leaves a person very susceptible to life-threatening infections. Neutropenia can be caused by a number of factors, including cancer chemotherapy, which often kills normal healthy cells, such as blood cells, as well as the cancer cells. And neutropenia also often occurs in people who have recently had a bone marrow transplant or who are suffering from AIDS. Filgrastrum is used to correct low neutrophil levels in the blood and thereby reduce the duration and severity of neutropenia. As a result, filgrastum minimizes the need for antibiotic treatment, the risk of complications due to infections, and length of time spent in hospital. The injection is given on a daily basis, with the length of treatment depending on the reason the medicine is being given and the results of blood cell counts. It is given either under the skin, so subcutaneous injection, most often of the thigh, arm, or abdomen, or as a drip into a vein, which is intravenous infusion. So it's to be used with caution in acute myeloid leukemia, osteoporosis, and people who have recently had pneumonia, hereditary fructose intolerance, and sickle cell disease. And it's not to be used in severe congenital neutropenia with abnormal chromosomes. Regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, their safety of this medicine during pregnancy has not been established. Therefore, it is not recommended for use during pregnancy unless considered essential by a doctor. So if this relates to you, speak to your doctor. There is no information available about the safety of this medicine during breastfeeding. For this reason, it is not recommended for women who are breastfeeding. The side effects include pain in muscles of the bones disturbances of the gut, such as nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, or constipation, enlargement of the spleen, fatigue, weakness, headache, loss of appetite, hair loss, cough, a rash on the skin, alteration in results of liver function tests, nosebleeds, difficulty or pain on passing urine, and decrease in number of platelets in the blood, decrease in the number of red blood cells in the blood, which would be anemia, Injection site reactions, worsening of arthritis, fluid in the lungs, pneumonia, sudden inability to breathe. So that would be adult respiratory distress syndrome. 
So the side effects I've just mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the manufacturer for this medicine. For more information, you need to read the patient information leaflet that comes with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist for more. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? This medicine is not known to affect other medicines. However, it is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist what medicines you are already taking before you start treatment with this medicine. Similarly, always check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicines while you're having treatment with this one to ensure the combination is safe. The first dose of this medicine should not be administered in the 24 hours before and 24 hours after chemotherapy for cancer as the chemotherapy medicine may also affect any new blood cells produced by the filgrastum. The first dose of this medicine should not be given within 24 hours of bone marrow infusion. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through our website, mytelehealth.info, or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork, or ring us at 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.